Keeping Quiet by Pablo Naroda. The poet's real name was Ricardo Elsier Neftali Reyes Basalto. However, he was better known by his pen name or legal name Pablo Naroda. He was a Sicilian poet. He won Nobel Prize for Literature in 1971. The peculiar characteristics of his writing was that he wrote with green ink which was symbolic of desire and hopes. Keeping Quiet by Pablo Naroda I'll start a poem. Now we will count to twelve and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic movement without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm wells, and the man gathering salt would look at his hot hands. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on clean cloths and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. What I want should not be confused with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want to no truck with debt. If we, if we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with debt. Perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive. Now I will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and I will go. Keep quiet, keep quiet. So the teacher says as she enters the class. Just imagine a chaotic class. Bang, bang. The teacher hits the table with her stick. Why does she do so? It's because you the student can hear her or him. You can find time for self-introspection or thinking. While doing so, aren't you all united? Isn't it necessary for mutual understanding? Yes, that's the message the poet wants to carry. Now, let's see the poem and understand. Now, we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. In the first two lines of the poem, the poet wants us to count to 12. But why to 12? The question arises in our mind, isn't it? It's because 12 is symbolic of time. The clock shows 12 hours of the day. The calendar shows 12 months of the year. In other words, the poet wants us to remain still or inactive or, or not to do anything for the time being. Now just flash back to an action movie of some heroes. Let's take an example, Sunny Deer. Haven't you seen them counting whenever they get angry? Why does they do so? It's because by the time we count, our anger diminishes. And then the person gets times for self-introspection. Now let's see the next four lines of the poem. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Here, the poet urges the entire humanity not to speak in any language. Language is only a way of expression. In a way, the different languages create a bar in the uni unity of people. When we don't understand the language of foreigners, we can't understand them. So it's better to keep quiet and try to understand. We will find time for self-introspection when we will not talk or not move our parts of body. Let's move to the next stanza. It would be an exotic moment. Without rush, without engines, we would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Here, exotic means unusual and exciting because of coming from far away. The poet says, that the silence when we will stop talking with each other. This will be a rare moment. Everything will come stand still. The poem is a very meaningful in the present context, isn't it? 
when there is lockdown during corona pandemic no vehicles is seen on the road no factory is run people are all locked down in their own houses that is why the poet wants to mean by without rush of people or and without engine really this kind of situation would would be very strange and would have never happened had there been no corona outbreak stanza fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hot hands fishermen while going to hunt the well never think about other things except earning the poet wants to say we people are harming other living beings for our own sake for our own benefits which is not good at all people are harming even themselves while going to collect salt so this is called self introspection we are not only harming environment but also harming ourselves stanza those who prepare green wars wars with gas wars with fire victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing here green wars such as deforestation mining fishing etc in other words this is a war with nature where human being will definitely be the greatest loser we are exploiting nature for our own benefit war with gas war with fire suggest the war where we human beings use different kind of weapons like biological weapons chemical weapons etc the bombardment the gunfire defy mother earth in this context the poem can be called a post war poem you have you might have read rupert brooks poem please go through this poem poets rupert brook wilfred owen sigmund sassoon they used to write about war poems you can read related poems of those poets we are involved in fruitless wars no one would survive no one can celebrate that is the only outcome of this wars clean clothes are symbolic of stainless character when the armies will treat their enemies as friends they will retreat from wars they will not involve in any kind of wars wars are always useless in a way the poet tries to promote universal brotherhood by bringing peace and unity Kenja what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with that if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with that the poet however is not in favor of inactivity he doesn't want us to remain in death like situation forever this silence is necessary for self introspection however this will not be permanent in this context he says let's move to the next stanza perhaps the art can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i will count up to 12 and he will keep quiet and i will go the poet wants human being to take instances from nature from art we find different season in different parts of the world we find different physical features this shows nothing is equal but nature tries to bring symphony or unity by different way for example in winter nature become lifeless trees shed their leaves but in spring or in summer again new leaves begin to appear flowers bloom in the trees the nature becomes like a bride with double triple vigor or enthusiasm it comes back to life from a death like situation similarly human too must wait for some time for self introspection and then do whatever is required for well being of everyone so with that we have ended this poem thank you for watching and please comment in the comment box and subscribe thank you